Hi guys, it's Anais from Radio King. When it comes to online radio, there are two different ways that you can broadcast. Automatic mode and live mode. Automatic mode is when you schedule your content to broadcast by itself in advance via a scheduler. Live mode is when you choose the live broadcasting software to speak live or mix music live on air. Today we're going to be looking at different live broadcasting software options that are available. So a live broadcasting software essentially takes the audio from your computer and broadcasts it to your radio stream. Whether you're brand new to online radio or if you've been doing it for years, today we'll be covering a wide range of software from easy click and play solutions to more complex options. So I'll be telling you a bit about each software, the available features, as well as pricing. We're going to start by looking at the best live broadcasting software for Mac OS. So this is Ladiocast. It's a free app for Mac OS. It includes four inputs and four outputs that will allow you to connect multiple devices, such as microphones, mixers, or even CD players, for example. It's one of the simplest broadcasting softwares out there. It only handles live streams, so talking into a microphone, for example. But you can go around this by using a multi-output device, such as Soundflower. Audio Hijack is a digital audio workspace designed to facilitate the recording of audio and broadcasting of live radio. The app is available for Mac OS only. You can use the free trial version, however be careful, your audio quality will start to decrease after 10 minutes of launching your session. If you want to use the full version, you'll have to purchase it for $59. The interface is made up of customizable blocks that you can drag and drop to create your own templates. They also have various templates that you can use and modify if necessary. You can also save your own templates so that you don't have to manually set it up each time you want to broadcast live. Some of the available blocks include radio broadcasting, recording audio, 10 band equalizers, audio effects, broadcasting audio from your computer, and more. Now let's take a look at software that's available for both Mac and Windows. Mix is an open source DJing software that's free to download for Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the particularity of being an ultra customizable software. You'll find a lot of the same features as most paid programs, such as beat syncing, section looping, as well as recording and broadcasting. So as you can see on my screen, I currently have two decks that are visible, but like I said, as it's a super customizable software, you can choose to show up to four decks if you want. You can plug in your microphone and easily speak live on air. There's also a crossfader in the middle for smooth transitions. You can pre-listen to a track before broadcasting it, and there's also an auto DJ feature so you can add your songs to a queue. There are loads of things to discover with Mix. As it's free to download, we invite you to try it for yourself. We're now going to take a look at BUT, which stands for Broadcasting Using This Tool. It's completely free to download for Mac, Windows and Linux, and it's one of the simplest broadcasting softwares that you can find. The software broadcasts any input from your computer. It handles live feeds, so talking into a microphone, for example. However, it can't take the audio from your media player and broadcast it you'll have to find a different software that allows you to do so. Virtual DJ is one of the most popular live broadcasting softwares for Windows and Mac. It's free to use under the home user license if you're not using any other kits such as a DJ controller or mixer. If you're going to use Virtual DJ for money generating activities, then you'll need to buy the professional license for $299. It's a really great DJing software for beginners. It's compatible with loads of different controllers and mixers. The decks work via a simple drag and drop, and it also has a super customizable interface. Finally, we're going to take a look at Windows compatible software. Let's start with Radio Boss. You can download a trial version of Radio Boss. Once your trial is over, you'll need to buy a registration key. There are three paid versions, from $119 to $249, depending on the features you want. Standard and express plans include internet streaming to your online radio, a scheduler, playlist generator, automatic cross-fading, microphone and line input control, now playing information, tags and more. Now let's take a look at Rocket Broadcaster. You can download a free version with limited features such as broadcasting live, speaking live on air, playing music, creating playlists and capturing audio from apps such as Skype. You can only broadcast up to 128 kbps with the trial version. The full version will allow you to broadcast in up to 320 kbps. It also includes auto-connecting, unlimited simultaneous streams, and metadata synchronization. Again, it's one of the simplest broadcasting tools you can use. Last but not least, let's take a look at Jazzler Spike Order. You can download a free version or purchase the full version for 99 euros. The software allows you to encode and broadcast your audio to the internet with five available encoders. It also alerts you if no audio is present, which will avoid you from broadcasting any silence on your radio station. You can schedule your audio recordings and easily record your live broadcasts. And there you have it. 
you now have all the tools in hand to start broadcasting live on your radio station. We've included various tutorials in the description below to help you get started. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. See you next time.